Of course, I can. Uh, I can give you an example uh, of the company that I worked for um, um, some time ago. Uh, it's not from the construction industry. It's a, from soft drink business. You might have heard about such a company called Coca-Cola. Is that the yes, case? Yes, I've, I've heard, <laughs> heard about them. By the way, you yes. do work in the construction industry, just like that everyone knows um, now yes. in a very innovative company. Yes, I, I do work in a very innovative company. That, that, that That's correct. Uh, I will give you an example of uh, uh, of the things that, that we did many years in Coke, mm -hmm. many years ago in Coke, because uh, soft drink industry is much more developed than, than a lot of other industries. Uh, the example is, uh, I will speak about uh, now about product innovation. Uh, actually, uh, Mm, uh, there was a, there was a crisis so, uh, and uh, the income of the people went down very well. So we had uh, and they couldn't afford buying standard Coke or standard Sprite Fanta products because they were too expensive for them. And uh, sorry, that's company, which market? Which which market is that? Uh, th th that was uh, Eastern Europe market, right? Uh, and uh, our company. Uh, Turn to the expertise that was available within the company. And uh, we developed a special kind of a drink. Actually, we copied it from our African colleagues that already went through such a disruption. And they introduced to the market alongside the regular Coke, they introduced a cheaper lemonade, also produced by, by, by the Coca-Cola company with a different name different route to market that will allow for the period of disruption for the, for the period of couple of years to support the market share and then be replaced later by regular coke back so uh within because coca cola is a great system it's a huge company so we didn't actually have to invent anything we took this approach we actually even took the brand the name was fructime um, and uh, we took the recipe for the concentrate and introduced it for the market, to the market. After a couple of years, we stopped. We discontinued production of this um, of this product because the economy grew, uh, the uh, the income became better, the out of pocket spending improved, and gradually we uh, phased out this simpler cheaper product in favor of our core brands interesting so this is an this is the, an example of uh, of a very successful uh, innovation uh, why didn't you just make it more expensive that would be the logical conclusion no if it's on the market if it's selling just make it more expensive when it's like you know, the, your market is adapting the, the, that could be the case, but the company was very much concentrated on developing core brands. That's that's the top priority. Uh, this was a small tactical brand, and we didn't want to really invest in that. Right. Uh, I, I also worked for a company called Cadbury. You right. might have heard about that. Of course. Uh, and at that time, Cadbury was doing a process innovation, actually a technology innovation, it introducing SAP as an accounting system. And uh, so there were, there were a lot of trainings, uh, there were a lot of discussions, some external experts were invited, people sat uh, in the offices, but it didn't work. And the reason was uh, that there was not enough order and discipline to do this innovation. Mm. Everybody attended the trainings and seminars, but didn't listen. Nobody cared. A lot of people think that innovation is connected with creativity, which is correct. But creativity innovation doesn't mean chaos. You have to use the organizational bureaucracy in a good sense. The the discipline, the existing systems and, and culture of the organization to implement the innovation. And in Cadbury, the systems were not designed for a, such a powerful and, and, and complicated tool as SAP. 
nobody wanted to get into that. So after a half year of struggle, uh, the company uh, decided to postpone implementation of SAP. And you might remember, finally it was sold to Kraft Foods without SAP implemented in many markets. Interesting. So this is the, the, uh, the, the, this is what I call a paradox of uh, innovation. On one hand, you need creativity. On the other hand, you please don't forget about the systems and bureaucracy, which is Structure. like a scaffold. If right. you, if I can use this metaphor, it's like a scaffold for the uh, for the construction site. You use it to build up. If you don't have a scaffold, then your site is gone. You can't build a high a high building.